Hi, and welcome to another look at what's new in Visual Studio Team Services. I'm Alex Nichols, a program manager on the team. And today we're going to take a look at what's new in Sprint 137 update, which rolled out in July of 2018. So let's jump in and take a look. So if I open up the release notes here, I'll see that the, the big thing is, is the, the general availability of our Microsoft hosted Linux and Mac OS agents, which enable you to, to build sort of no matter what uh, kind of dependency you have or no matter what type of app you have. Um, so I encourage you to check those out. We've taken the, the preview moniker off, off of those. But if I just go down to the, the feature list here, broken it down by the different area of the service. So we've got, we've got code with some, some changes in the pull request. And we've got uh, over in Wiki, which I'll spend a, a few minutes uh, diving through some, some smaller enhancements there. I'll also take a look at uh, package management uh, for a few minutes here. Um, but but let's, let's start off and, and go down to Azure DevOps projects. So th this is the big news. Uh, uh, not, nothing uh, particularly changing in terms of the functionality here, but just uh, we're, we've now reached a point where we're, we're going to do general availability for Azure DevOps projects. So let's just open up here how, do you, how you get to that. Uh, I've got a tile here on my dashboard, and, and I'll just show how easy it is in just a few clicks. Uh, to get this set up. So when I create, create an Azure DevOps project, my first step is to select the type of app application. Uh, I can pick, pick Node, for example. You could bring your own. Pick the framework that I, that I want to use. I'll pick Express. Pick which type of Azure service I want to deploy to. And then finally, uh, I could uh, set up the, the VSTS and Azure subscription details, and that's it. Once I click Done here, that would go off and spin up a whole pipeline with an example application, uh, including telemetry. So it, it's just in just a few clicks, you can really get started uh, really easily uh, with that in Azure. Uh, I'll even say this has been helpful just over time as I, as I want to see uh, how these these parts of the service get set up. You know, how do I connect up my my code to my my continuous integration build, or how do I set it up to release and out to Azure? This is even just helpful because it gets all that set up, so I can, I can then um, maybe go into detail and configure it uh, from there. So it's a great place to start off and a great place to, to kind of reference. The other one is is we've now pre-installed, uh, we've now pre-installed the uh, package management extension. So now you'll see it in the left hand here. I'll expand the navigation. You'll see it show up here in packages. This allows you to get get started and create a new feed. And, and for those that are new, I mean, one of the benefits about working uh, basically not by yourself, but with a team, with an organization, or with a community, is that you don't have to uh, write all the code yourself. You can reuse code. So this is where packages come in. You can set up, uh, you can create, let's say, if you're on one team that's developing an API and you want another team to leverage it, and they want to they uh, use it in their, in their part of the, the service that they're building. You know, you can set up a package feed so that you can just continually uh, uh, make enhancements or, or update update that package, and they they're able to subscribe and, and get get a hold of those changes. So it make, makes sharing code a, a lot easier. All right. So then over in Wiki, I wanted to show a few few things because I'll tell you we've we've used Wiki ourselves in our organization um, to help to help us operate and and. Um, Retain and uh, retain and use all the knowledge that we've we've come to develop, both on support but also for for engineering. So we've 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 gone uh, gone into Wiki and used it a lot. And but lately we've we found that there's a couple things missing. So uh, we've we've got those added and uh, we're finding some value of that ourselves. First is the uh, link to a particular heading. So this is kind of a deep link. You can imagine uh, you can click copy that. Uh, you can uh, see it, but up in the header, it, it copies the the anchor that it'll jump to. So you can share this and point somebody to a specific part of the document. Another one you'll notice here is that we've got uh, a broken link now. Those are showing up in red with this little symbol. So this is where you know either something somebody changed a file and now now a link is broken, or um, this is also helpful if you're authoring and you you don't want to stop. You can keep going and later create the pages that you want. So uh, you'll see here on the on the broken page. Uh, link here, you'll see this create page button, so you can create a page straight away. And then the last one is, uh, I've got an image over here, and uh, we were hearing some feedback that uh, 
you know, Wiki was kind of managing attachments and, and images a little bit, a little bit too strict. So we've we've opened that up to say, you know, wherever your attachment or your images, I'll edit this page to show an example. This is an image that's in the same folder along with uh, along this with this Markdown file, and I'm able to link to it, and and I could do the same with an attachment as well. So it just however you want to manage your your files and in, uh, inside of your wiki. Um, you can now link to them kind of more, more as you'd expect, kind of uh, natively in there. All right, so that, that's it for now. Uh, go ahead and uh, I encourage you to check out the release notes here. Uh, dive into some of the detail. You can link to docs as well. And, and I want to want to remind you that um, that VSTS is a great way that you can simplify your move to DevOps. Uh, it's also where you can uh, plan better, code together, and ship faster. So. I want to thank you for watching and, and encourage you to subscribe for more videos.